This is the video review of Tobot Terracle, and this is one of my most favorite toys in just a really, really long time. Like, it has problems with it, but this guy, I love this guy. For one, because he is not your usual Transformer. Like, you usually get, like, a car or an airplane or a construction vehicle, but you never get a farming vehicle, like a farming tractor. You never get something like this. And I love this. I love this album. It's, it, it's basically a John Deere tractor, and it looks wonderful. Um... Let me take off his uh, little tractor um, thing and his little gun right here. And let me just show it to you naked. This thing just looks awesome. It's big, it's chunky, and it looks a little bit Tonka, but it also looks a little bit John Deere. Like, John Deere looks Tonka. This thing looks awesome. I love it. And it rolls super duper well, too. Which is uh, really interesting that they managed to pull it off because, like, this wheel should have a ton of friction around it because it, um, uh, the, uh, the hubcap doesn't move with it. Like, it's not spinning on a very tiny point. It has, um, it's spinning around a very large point, and yet it still manages to roll well. And so I am very pleased with this guy, just in this mud alone, that he transforms... That, that it's this that transforms making me love it even if I didn't like his robot mode. And his robot mode takes some getting used to, but I like it too. Now he does have a couple of gimmicks here. Um, the first thing is that he has um, this little thing right here that um, I don't quite know what this would be on a uh, tractor like this. Um, I assume it spins around or something. Maybe spraying water or something, I'm not sure. But it does double as his gun, and it can fire this weird looking missile. Uh, and you get two of them in case you lose one. I'll uh, leave it off for now because uh, I don't know if I heard on accident. But then, if you pull this down like this, and you plug this up here, you get like a uh, an APC or something. And you know, even though it's such a simple transformation, I think this does work. It no longer looks like a tractor, and now it looks kind of like it doesn't look as much like a tractor. Uh, like this does a good job of hiding, it, especially like this armor plating stuff up here. Um, and it looks more like if John Deere made an APC than a tractor that turned into an APC. And so it's not perfect, but I think it works pretty well. Um, I like that it's there, uh, especially because it doesn't uh, affect anything else uh, for the uh, rest of the transformation. And his other gimmick is this uh, thing that he uh, carries behind him like this. This thing is really cool. It's uh, basically his voice box. Um, it turns into a... Uh, what looks like a minesweeper or a metal detector, and it works. You turn it on to here. If you uh, turn this all the way up, it looks like it's volume, but it's actually sensitivity. So you turn it up, and then you turn it down until it doesn't give you false positives. And then here's a little uh, metal clamp I have. It works, and that's awesome. And then if you uh, push the slider up once more, you get his voice clips. And I don't know if um, if it loops past that or anything because I can't understand it. Um, but, but that's basically what this thing does. And it's really cool. So I'll put this off to the side. Uh, same with his gun. And then he comes with this little shovel thing. Um, and it's supposed to be his uh, toe key right here. Um, the thing I don't like about it is that he can't hold the shovel. If the handle had like just like a little 5 millimeter uh, port here so that he could hold onto it, I would really like this because he could use it. But no, it's just like... Um, it's a shovel, it's a rasp, it's a key, and none of it he can use except to start the transformation, which you really don't need. So uh, this you can just um, put into your bin of little extra stuff, because you're never going to use this. Now for the transformation itself, this is really cool. Um, you'll start off with by pulling his legs down here, and then you'll split them. You'll bring the feet up from the back here, and then you'll bring these out on this double hinge, and they'll tab into the bottom like that. And then um, make them out one click, and there are the feet done. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate this up like this. But watch what happens right there. These things are spring-loaded, and they... Um, come out for the vehicle mode, but then they push in for the transformation, and then boom. And so that way you get this uh, gap filled when it's in uh, the uh, um, tractor mode, and it doesn't interfere in the robot mode, and I really like the way that works. And the way that you uh, untab this is you press this down, 
and then it will start coming down. And like, they didn't have to put that onto a ratchet, but they did it anyway, and so like the, um, the uh, tactile sensation of transforming this, I just love this. I love this bit of the figure right here. It's so perfect. And then you will split this part up here, rotate this up, bring this around, and then this uh, right here will tab in here and here. And then you rotate these down and straighten the arm. Like that. And then there's a button right here. You press that and his hand comes out. Now it, um, it keeps the, uh, uh, the uh, hubcap on. I don't like that so much, but I do like uh, how the hand comes out. So like, there's not much you could do about it. Like, I guess you could just take it off, but then it's just a hand hiding inside the wheel well or inside the hubcap. Then you'll fold these back like that. And then you press this down and here's the head. And here is Tobot Terracle in his robot mode. And he does look a little bit weird at first. Like when I first saw him, I was like, ooh, that's it. But over time, I sort of fell in love with the way this guy looks. Like his uh, torso here is just a tad bit too long. If they made it like a half an inch shorter, he would just look perfect. But even so, I don't mind him that much because he's an interesting and different looking robot whose proportions are just barely within what I can tolerate, but because he is so different, I like him. He does something that most other figures don't, which is he interests me, and that I value so much more than just something looking awesome and cool and badass. Um, for, for his uh, accessories, you can take uh, his little gun here, and, and this can plug onto his shoulder here, which I think is really cool, and then you can just have him hold it as a normal gun, like that. Um, and what I like to do is I like to keep it onto his shoulder like that. I like to take the extra missile so I don't lose it. I put it into his hand. And then I take the uh, metal detector. I put it into his hand like this. And then bada bing bada boom. There he is with as much of his stuff as you can carry as possible. Um, now one thing that does bug me about this guy. And he does offer a solution with him. Um, uh, to fix the problem. Is I don't like the way his feet are formed. Like there's no way like... Uh, he has the same basic kind of feet as uh, Tobot Evolution, or Tobot Adventure Z, where he has a, a, a wheel for a heel. And so that means that, like, he, uh, his heel isn't back here. His heel is right here. Uh, because this is the uh, last place that it connects with the ground. And so he doesn't have the best feet possible. And so he does have some trouble standing, especially because of how top-heavy he is. And the way you fix that is you use this as like a crane, or as a, a cane. And so you can, and like he's supposed to be using that anyway, because it's his tool. So like you can get over some of his uh, balance problems, like... He has good posability, but the uh, tolerance on the ratchets and then just uh, the... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, the tolerances on the ratchets make it hard to um, do stuff with them sometimes, and they'll fall over sometimes. Um, you know, he has good articulation, like his arms rotate around 360. They'll go in and out, rotate above the elbow, bend at the elbow 90 degrees, and his legs go in and out, forward and back, bend that much at the knee. Um, he does have good articulation, not perfect, but good. Um, and so just having this thing here to support him really, really helps. So if he has this, you can basically put him into any uh, pose. And because he's su supposed to have that, it's not as bad as, um, as it sounds like I can accept it, uh, even though it's still kind of weird. So... It helps. It does make it work. Um, I realize I'm kind of making excuses for the figure not having great posability uh, or a not great feet, but considering everything else I like about him, that is one problem does have a solution, does make me feel a lot better about it. Because like, if he didn't have this thing to help him stand, then it would be a lot harder to enjoy him, even though I still would. And so... Because of the problems he has with standing, with the way his uh, feet work, I do understand why some people wouldn't like this guy, especially because he has some uh, weird proportions with his torso, so I totally understand why some people wouldn't like him, but I love this guy. He's one of my favorite Tobots in a, in a long time, like since Adventure Z, basically. Um, well, no, since Deltatron. Um, 
Well, if we're not counting combiners, then since um, Adventure Z, but he, he's a great figure, and I do really like him. And if you like what you see here, and if my uh, justifications for his, bad or uh, for his bad balance have swayed you, then I do recommend getting him. And so anyway, this has been a video review of Tobot Terracol. I review Tobots, Transformers, Power Rangers, lots of stuff like that. If any of that sounds interesting, please subscribe, and thank you for watching.